You are listening to Win on KZKO. Check them out every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Only on KZKO The Vibe. And now, World Improv Network proudly presents Community Court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the two parties can't solve a dispute, that uh, amicably, uh, Community Court uh, is there to solve the problem. All rise for the most honorable judge, Kenneth Vaccaro. Oh, all right. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Judge. Pleasure to be back. Oh, yeah, it's good to have you back, Cliff. You know, uh, uh, I was thinking about you uh, over the weekend. Oh. I was thinking, uh, uh, you know, I was just trimming my nails, as as a judge is prone to do. Mm-hmm. And, uh, oh. yep, Junior was there. I trimmed his nails, too. And, uh... Now you can't scratch me. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a fun little game we play, isn't it, Junior? Scratch Daddy. And um, I was thinking, oh, I don't, I haven't been golfing for a while. You want to go golfing, man? I, I, I've, ne- I've never golfed before, but, but oh, I, well, I would take love you to. Out. We'll go hit some balls. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, no, I'm, hey, Junior. I'm, hey, Junior, you come too. He can come too, right? Well, I was hoping for just some. Time for the two of us. Junior. All right, well, uh, Junior will come too. <laughs> Yay. Because he's making such a big fuss about it. Yeah, yeah boy, I, I didn't miss him last week. But uh, speaking of balls, uh, we have uh, somebody in the courtroom who's got some major ones uh, for raising a, a complaint today, I'd say. Um, Mr. Uh, Harry Gertstein. Ugh! Mr. Harry Gertstein now... Uh, you uh passed out drunk uh at your at your uh uh the gate to your flight. Um you're heading to Phoenix. Yeah. Is that right? Southwest Airlines, Denver to Phoenix. All right. And uh and you missed your flight cuz well you were passed out drunk and uh your complaint is towards uh Southwest Airlines for not waking you up. Is that right? Well, Am yeah, I getting this right? That's part of the standard boarding procedure. You know, you have those little numbers that you have to stand by the pole. They didn't wake me up when my number was called, so that's horrible customer service, and I think there's a conspiracy. All right. Sounds like we've got a couple different complaints going on here. Yeah. Bad customer service and a conspiracy. And they didn't bring me any mixers for my vodka that I was drinking at the gate. Excuse me? Yeah, you're supposed to get free before flight drinks. I, I know in the air it costs you something, but on the ground it should be free. <clears throat> well, we'll get to that uh, maybe later today. Uh, that sounds like a sub issue, kind of tangential. But we'll, we'll address the free drinks. Free drinks? I already brought my own vodka to the airport. They should just give me the the, the orange juice and the pineapple juice. Uh, that, that. Uh, yes, Mr. Uh, Sean Leroy. Uh, Representative, yeah, Southwest uh, yeah th- thank you. Uh, look, free drinks are not part of our Southwest program uh, at all, not even on the flight. We are discontinuing drinks on the flight, period. We're going to have dry flights from now on. Um, Doesn't sound like charisma is part of the Southwest airline protocol either. Uh, no, no. We like to keep things uh, simple and plain. What about your happy bag ads that you show that your bags are so happy? The only way bags get that happy is they've been drinking. So, clearly, why uh, didn't you serve me some alcohol with my vodka and my mixer on the ground? Um, Mr. Gertstein, are you drunk right now? Well, I'm at a few shots. I don't know if I'd call myself Oh yeah, uh, what, he, drunk? Yeah, I'm holding him. Cliff, could you go smell his breath? Um, yeah, uh, uh, mm. uh, sir, could you? Oh, you want a shot? It's, uh, it's yeah. Maker's Mark. It, no, uh, yeah, Your Honor, he he is wasted. Your Honor, yes. You like Patron on the rocks with a little bit of lime? I do. All right, well, hold on, let me get some. No, I'm fine. I can't drink while I'm. Well, Why Cl- not? Cliff, close your eyes. All right, here we go. One. Yeah. Uh, Not bad. This is refreshing. Summer's right around the corner. Yes, this is very good apple juice. Yes, that's what your kid thinks too. Here. <clears throat> You're setting a great example, Judge. Well, you know what? I've been pretty stressed out. I'm Judge. <clears throat> well, hey, if hey, you've we got been a... uh, that stressed yes, out, Leroy. maybe you should uh, take a vacation, take a take a flight. You know, explore this wonderful United States of ours. Yeah, maybe. Maybe uh, when, it's time I, uh, I took a trip. 
Not on Southwest. I recommend Frontier because they served me my mixers last time. And when I woke up, I was on the back of the plane. They even carried me on the plane. It was nice. Mr. Gerstown, what's this conspiracy you mentioned earlier? Have you experienced uh, other scenarios, different modes of transportation where either passed out drunk or for whatever reason you were unable to catch your your transportation? Yeah. Well, first of all, let me go back to that bag plane, right? The bags always get on the plane. And they're lazy as hell. They're laying around, but someone the, the picks... The bags? The bags. Well, bags are inanimate objects. Right. And so, someone picks them up and puts them on the plane. Why couldn't they pick me up? Because I was inanimate. I was so drunk. Oh, I you see. You put me on the plane. I see. So you think uh, passengers should be treated as well as the bags? At least. Yeah, well... Uh, uh, yes, Mr. Mr. Leroy? Yeah, How do you Mr. respond to that? If Mr. Gertstein had been... In a bag at the time, we would have carried him onto the plane. Um, but we have a strict no touching policy with our, uh, well, clothes are kind of like bags, right? Yeah, they are. Uh, well, they're, they're bags with holes. They don't actually seal. Well, uh, Mr. Gertstein would have to be fully contained within an enclosure, be uh. that made of PVC or Gore-Tex, or, or even, uh, you know, a sheep's stomach. What about like a, um, like one of those skin suits? You know, like uh, the guys in the 3D, the green screen uh, things wear? The Lycra what? stuff. My, what? my granddaughter, she does ballet. It's Lycra. Lycra, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, why didn't you give me a body bag or a Lycra suit and just pick me up? Isn't Lycra a sheep skin? Is that right? It's kind of like it, yeah. It's like a stomach of a sheep. Uh, yeah, it's a, uh, uh, that, that would be a synthetic sheepskin from, uh, cloned sheep are the only places, ways to harvest lycra. But, I mean. Have yeah. you run into this problem before, Mr. Leor? Because it sounds like you're pretty, uh, knowledgeable of lycra and sheep stomach uh, clothing. Yeah, yeah, we have a, a whole class of our platinum level passengers who, uh, if you see people in these lycra body suits at the gate, those are our platinum level passengers oh. and they receive full, uh, we take care of them, you know, uh, front, uh, front to tail. Now, head to it, tail. is it by wearing the lycra suit that you become a platinum member or do you have to become a platinum member to get a lycra suit? Oh, uh, yes. You must be a platinum member first and then you receive an official Southwest lycra suit. Um, now, to become a platinum member, you have to raise enough cloned sheep for us so that we can provide you with a lycra suit uh, specifically uh, geared to your temperament. And that's the conspiracy I was talking about, Judge, because I live in Arizona, and the temperature and climate ain't right for raising sheep, mm -hmm. so I couldn't raise the lycra needed to become a platinum member. That's why they're not letting me become a platinum member. Yeah, that and, seems and like a rather expensive and exclusive. Uh, well, you know. Your Honor, since we are Southwest Airlines, we we can't have sheep anywhere in our regional, in the vicinity of our regional headquarters, our corporate headquarters, because it's also down in Arizona. So this is why we need to uh, farm the sheep raising out, if you will. See, and that's conspiracy and discriminatory because I can't raise them in my home state of Arizona here on Well now maybe wow. if uh Mr. Gertstein had bothered to read the fine print on his ticket, he would realize you know, if he wasn't such a drunkard, he would realize that we at Southwest do provide a program that is available to anyone where we will purchase them a house in a sheep raising region and we will relocate you forcibly from wherever you currently reside to this house we are providing for you. Sounds like uh, treating a person like a bag, you know, forcibly taking them from mm -hmm. one spot to another. Yes, but these they they are happy. Huh. Mr. Well, Gertstein, does that strike your fancy? Well, I really always wanted to be a platinum member. I thought they'd have a slip and slide in the front of the plane. They have so much fun, those guys. And oh, that That is actually not something we provide for our platinum members. That is only... Platinum members, uh, when the plane crashes. Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you're mistaking the escape rafts for a slip and slide. Oh, well, I thought, I was always when a big yellow raft came out over water, you just played slip and slide. Hmm. You've been in a plane crash, sir? For real. For real, Uh, can I, uh, Your Honor, may I ask? Now, Mr. that sounds Gertstein. like a conspiracy. 
Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Done. Leroy, Mr. Leroy, I cut you off. I apologize. Uh, no, that's that's okay. Uh, now, Mr. Gertstein, did you drink before these plane crashes? Yes, wise or not, like a, like hit and run or like DUI stuff. The guy who always hit somebody who's drunk, he walks away scot free. The other guys get tense and they're all nervous and stuff to see the collision. They get hurt. So I passed out on three flights and I ended up on a slip and slide. Hmm. Mr. Gertstein, I'm looking at your resume here and it looks like you were once a pilot. I was. I flew for TWA back in the day. No way. Yeah, that's uh, stopped flying after they went out of business. I was Howard Hughes' operation. Good guy, actually. Kind of weird, but a good guy. And him and I used to drink a lot down at the Copacabana Club. Yeah, well, uh, uh, I think, Your Honor, as you can see, this is why we are enacting dry flights here at Southwest. Is again, too- that's discriminatory. I have a habit, and they won't let me do it. That's not fair. I agree. People have to eat, breathe, that kind of stuff. Why can't I drink? Well, uh, I think I've heard enough. Uh, uh, Mr. Leroy, I think you owe uh, Mr. Gertstein here three free flights, uh, one for each of the crashes he's experienced. I imagine those were all part of the Southwest flights. It sounds like you're a pretty loyal, if uh, disgruntled member uh, or uh, customer of, of that of that airline, sir. Can I ask one more favor? Can you also give me a one-year platinum membership for free while I start raising my sheep? I think that's fair. i got to relocate. Uh, well, uh, let's get you into the program and, and go from there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a complicated program. There are about 12 steps you're going to have to get through before you can actually join the platinum program. That sounds like a good deal there. All right. Uh, case dismissed. Yeah. Give the Windcast your suggestions via Facebook, Twitter, or the KZKO Wind Blog during the commercial break of a crime that needs to be solved during Truth and Justice. Next on KZKO. You are listening to Win on KZKO. Check them out every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Only on KZKO.